Hello everyone, it's Mr. Kirk here. Well, at least a version of Mr. Kirk here to talk to you about our next lesson in Amplify, lesson 1.4. And today we're going to talk about how as good scientists, we read articles, we read uh, scientific journals, scientific articles, and then we do this thing called annotations. We go ahead and mark those articles up so that when we want to use them again in the future, we don't have to read the entire article. So today is uh, pretty simple, straightforward, where you're going to read an article, you're going to kind of mark it up, and I'm going to show you how to do that in Amplify. So we can go ahead and get started. Energy inventions is the topic of our lesson today. And for the warm up, you're going to build upon what we talked about last week, kinetic and potential energy. You're going to go back to that sorting tool and you're just going to separate the items that you think show kinetic energy versus those uh, that show potential energy. And again, if you don't know, just go ahead and leave it uh, where it is. All right. Active reading is the concept that when we read something for academic reasons, we don't um, just passively let it soak in, but rather we are engaged in the article that, that we're reading, all right? And to model this, we're gonna read an article about energy inventions, some of which created by um, you know, people that are, are teenagers. Uh, some of the best inventions that we've got have either been built or uh, their idea came from people when they were teenagers. And at the end of the day, you need to understand that scientists, energy scientists, do a lot of reading. Uh, our knowledge is built upon what other people have done. And so we constantly need to be reading about what other people are doing to solve various problems. And when you read, you want to read carefully and critically, making sure that you understand what you're reading. And active reading is a way of doing that. So we're going to create what we call annotations, which means you mark up the text. Um, you can do that with highlighting. You can do that with writing in the margins where you kind of include your own thoughts with what you're reading. So here's an example of a textbook where a student is highlighting and then also writing their own ideas down. They're annotating this. In Amplify, we do this digitally, so we can highlight um, passages, we can highlight with different colors in those passages, and then we can also make notes that go off into the, the right margin there. So if I blow this up, you get a better sense where uh, you know, we can highlight this, this section in green about bacteria and fungi and how it interacts the body, and see right here we have a note uh, fungi in the body that's gross right and so the reason we do this is because we often will use um, readings other people's writings to uh, to back up or substantiate things that we believe or we find and so if you highlight things and make notes about things then when you go back to reference those because you want to show somebody else um, what you've uh, you've built upon you don't have to read the entire article you can just go back and quickly scan your highlighted sections quickly scan your notes and you can find uh, what you're looking for otherwise you'd have to read the whole article or skim the whole article to try to find what you're looking for so um, when I grade, I look for you know highlights and notes that students include in there. That lets me know that you're actively reading the article. So we have this article, Energy Inventions. Okay, um, we have a bunch of articles in the Amplify library. All right, and uh, we will get a chance to uh, kind of delve into that. There's a video here I want to show you that shows you the. Um, the way in which uh, you can highlight, you can use Amplify. This is kind of a technical aspect of it. So we'll go ahead and watch this and then I'll wrap this up. Let's review some of the features you can use when you read articles in the Amplify library. Let's start in the top right corner with the page view icon. If you press the icon, notice it changes to purple. 
This means you're in page view. Press the icon again to make sure you're in scroll view so you can use all of the library features. When in scroll view, you'll see words that are underlined in blue. These are reveal words. When you press them, a definition box rolls up. In this view, you can also annotate an article simply by selecting text. Press Highlight to either highlight or underline the text you have selected. To add notes to the text you have selected, press Note. Then, type your thoughts and press Save. You can also add an annotation to an image by pressing anywhere on the image. You will then be prompted to add a note. In the top right corner is the annotations icon, which allows you to review and search your annotations. To the left of the article, above the scroll bar, is the speaker icon. You can use it to hear the audio recording of the article. These are just a few of the features that will help you get the most out of reading articles in the Amplify library. All right, now it's time for me to, to model the active reading for you. So I'm gonna show you how you'd annotate just what you saw in the video, how you're gonna annotate the article to show what you're thinking about, and then some strategies that you can use, okay? Like asking questions or making connections, how to use the vocabulary. So first of all, the article is going to look like this. And anytime you see a blue uh, word that's you know, separated like this, if you highlight over that, it's going to give you the definition. These are key vocabulary words that either are, are new to you or you may be confused when we talk about energy and science. Is that the same kind of energy that we would talk about in every everyday life? So. Um, those are going to be highlighted for you to, uh, to take a look at to help your definition there. So if I read the first couple of sentences of this article, um, I might find some things that kind of stand out. So maybe I read and in the second sentence here where it says uh, there may not be an electrical grid nearby or they may not have electrical wires to bring power from the electrical grid to their homes, I might think, oh, well, why would a power plant only run part of the time? Like, that doesn't make sense. And so what I can do is I can just go ahead and add a note to that, and I can type that in and click Save. And now it's going to save my question. So I can come back later on. If that isn't answered, then maybe you want to bring that to me later on and say, hey, Mr. Kirk, um, why would they run only part of the time? Why, why wouldn't they not run power plants all of the time? Um, or maybe you write that down and it gets answered later on in the article. Um, if you're like me, there have been plenty of times in your life that you had a question and a little bit of time goes by and then you forget what your question was. Well, this is a way to kind of keep that from happening. You also may come across a word or a group of words that you don't know that aren't uh, segmented or separated as um, key definition or uh, key vocabulary words. You can highlight those so you can think about them more or see if they come up again and you can figure out what their definition is from their context. Or you could Google them. Or if nothing gets answered, you could bring it to me and say, hey, Mr. Kirk, what does the word reliable mean? Or what is, you know, what is this word? I don't even know how to pronounce it. What does this mean? So if you highlight it, it's going to make it easier for you to find. All right. When you, uh, you scroll through, you can look at the images. You can read the captions that are below oops that are below the uh, images here and you can make annotations or record your questions on the pictures as well so um, ge generally speaking those are the kinds of annotations that you're going to um, to want to include all right you're going to want to include your ideas your questions um, definitions that you're not quite sure about um, and so when we do articles, and we're going to do a fair amount of articles in here, when we do articles with annotations, 
What I'm looking for from an assignment standpoint is that you do at least three annotations. So that could be three highlighted sections of the text. It could be two highlighted sections and one note. It could be three notes. It could be any of that. Each of those instances count as one annotation. So if you want full credit for the assignment, then you're going to give me at least three uh, annotations, three separate annotations. So if you highlight something and you make a comment on it or a question on it, that's great, but that's one annotation, okay? And I'll be looking for three. So today's assignment is take your time, read Energy Inventions, and come up with three annotations, and then go ahead and submit that. And that'll be the end of today's lesson.